I'm Ryan Milliken from Hardway Performance, and you're listening to The Diesel Podcast. I'm Demetri Miller with No Zone Diesel. This is Anthony Rings from XDP. This is Jaron Holder from Holder Down Performance. Corey Willis from TPI. I'm Drew with D&J Precision Machine. I'm Pinky. And you're listening to The Diesel Podcast. Diesel Podcast. You're listening to The Diesel Podcast. The Diesel Podcast. The one and only Diesel Podcast. What is going on, Diesel Nation? we got a special weekend episode for you guys out there. Today we're going to be talking about a giveaway that Power Driven Diesel is doing where they're going to double the power of a VP44 truck. So there's a bunch of contestants. Today we're chatting with one of them, and she's going to tell us about the truck, what's done to it, how they plan to use the extra power if they're selected, and what it's going to be towing. It's a really cool episode. Hi, Kayleen. I'm excited to chat with you today. We, we've seen you on Instagram. We saw you on the Power Driven Diesel event uh, or giveaway that they have going on. And we wanted to have you on and talk to us about that and your truck and basically, you know, what, what your goals are with it. Yeah, thank you for having me on. Um, so the Power Driven Diesel giveaway is for VP44 9802 second gen Cummins. Um, it is just those years because um, those were the requirements. Um, so you had to take an up to a three-minute video to be entered into the contest and send it in by June 24th. So entering has already been ended. And then on June 27th, they pick seven finalists, me being one of them. And so now they're doing voting, which consists of having people go on your video and subscribe and comment. And that voting will go up until July 8th, and then the winner will be announced on July 9th. So what the giveaway is about is they're going to take one of our trucks for whoever wins. They're going to dyno it when you get there, and then they're going to double the horsepower of whatever it originally dynoed and put on any parts that it takes to double the horsepower. That's cool. That's going to be fun. <laughs> There's a lot on the line, I would say. <laughs> now, your your truck, is anything done to it right now, or is it a bone stock? Or? Um, so it's pretty much bone stock. All that is done to it is I do have 4-inch MB MBRP exhaust, and the reason that is is because my original factory exhaust actually rusted and fell off. So... That kind of sucks, but, <laughs> but then anything besides that would be just aftermarket wheels and tires and then other aftermarket cosmetic parts. Nice. So it's basically a, a platform that's ready to do tuning and fuel and air and a bunch of other things. Oh, yeah. It definitely is. It's it, been pretty much stock this whole time. So Now, is it an automatic or do you have a manual? Um, it is an automatic, yes. So that'll probably be addressed in the upgrade as well if you're going to double the power. <laughs> yeah, I would think so because their transmissions don't hold very well all the time. The cool thing with them, though, is there's so much that can be done really, you know, without doing a full build. You know, they just need a little bit of help you know, with the converter and valve body and things like that. So I'm sure that uh, that those guys can hook you up with, with, you know, a setup that'll hold double the power with the engines making now. Yeah, we're really hoping to get to win and go out there and see what they can do to potentially double the horsepower and just make it a little bit quicker than it already is and make it a little bit more fun. Tell us a little bit about the truck. Like, when did you? How long have you had it? Do you use it for like daily driving? Maybe towing a trailer, hauling some things. Yeah. So I actually originally got the truck when I was about fourteen or fifteen years old. Um, I worked a lot and was able to get the truck so it was my first vehicle and I drove it all throughout high school and then um, let's see back in 2016 while I was leaving work a lady actually blew a red light and hit me on the driver's side and so the truck was actually totaled in that accident but the truck has a lot of sentimental value to me so we ended up deciding to keep it and rebuilding the front end, and my dad helped me with that. And so now what we do with it is pretty much it's just 
uh, kind of a toy, so to say. And I do haul my boyfriend's drag truck that he has. Um, we actually just started that this year. Uh, but we're kind of hoping to build it a little bit more for towing since it is stock. It's not really made to handle towing all that weight on the back of a trailer. But that's pretty much the goals we have for it is getting it to where it needs to be to be a show truck and also for towing. Nice. I saw it was a, I saw it was a regular cab and regular cabs have always had a special place in my heart. <laughs> yeah, I actually... <laughs> I've been real partial to regular cabs for a long time. There's something so cool about them. I know the extra space in the back seat helps for, you know, throwing things in the back or whatever, but they're just so clean and just, it's, it, they're simple, but I don't know. It's just something kind of classic, you know, yes. old school about them. I definitely agree with that. They just, in my opinion, they look super clean, but they can also look really mean in my oh, opinion. Yeah. <laughs> now you, you have a lot of truck pictures on your social media for our listeners out there that are on instagram how can they see the truck and and follow the build and what you're doing with it yeah if they want to go and follow my instagram page it is um wildfire underscore 24 v um so the wildfire came from the name of the truck um just because we thought it was kind of fitting but when I first got the truck, for some reason, we called it Fireball. And then after the accident, we decided we should probably call it something else. <laughs> so that's well, it's kind red. of a new thing. Yeah. It's one of my favorite sure. colors. <laughs> yeah, the silver was actually added after the accident because it used to be all red. So it looks a little different than when I originally got it, but it's definitely my favorite truck by far. Now, if you were to just... If you could just do anything you want to that truck as far as power and upgrades, what would you do to it? Um, so first, I would probably do a transmission just due to the fact that it has a stock one. And we'd probably want to do somewhere between high 400 horsepower to about 550 horsepower transmission. Uh, just because we don't want to go too high since it would be for towing. Um, then we would probably do a fuel system and probably like a fast fuel system, and then probably do uh, turbo and injectors, just because that is all stock as well. Just a little upgrade, so it does better when towing. Now, would you do a single turbo, or are you thinking of a compound turbo setup? Um, that's always been a good question, because we've been kind of tossed up about it and figured we'd decide once that time came, but we were kind of leaning towards compounds, um, I'm not quite sure what size we would do, just considering we haven't built it or anything yet, but we would probably end up doing the compounds. They're really fun, especially for towing, because you don't you don't have to sacrifice you know, any of it's a certain part of the RPM range. You can just use it all. Yeah, yeah. My boyfriend's drag truck actually has a single turbo on it, so we figured that double or compounds would be nice since it is going to be for towing. That power range that you mentioned, that's really like the sweet spot for a tow setup. Like high 400s, mid 500s, you still have you know, like the fuel economy and the reliability, but then it's it's fun to drive. Yeah, you don't have to worry about breaking stuff. <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't want to break stuff while towing. Just <laughs> wanted something reliable but have the horsepower behind it so we didn't have to worry as much. You would mentioned the, the drag truck. Is that a diesel as well? Um, yes, it is a 0424 valve Cummins as well. It's a 5.9. Um, it's a four-door long box, actually, so not a typical drag truck, but it's ranging about 950 for horsepower right now. Nice. It is going places, that's for sure. <laughs> I remember a few years back with um, with Firepunk when they won uh, DPC a few times in a row. It, you know, because it was a quad cab long bed, and kind of the perception was, well, they can't go fast, or they can't do this, or can't do that. But I know that truck, like years ago, proved you can. <laughs> so yeah, we have actually watched a lot of his stuff, um, and we've kind of based some of the things off of what he, he has done. But we've kind of put our own twist to it, and we're hoping actually to go to the diesel power challenge 
within the next couple of years with that truck. Nice. That'll, that'll be fun. I know that just wrapped up here not long ago and we got a chance to chat with a lot of the contestants and it was so cool to hear their stories and their builds and they're each a little different. And then just the intensity of the event with all the different tests and you know, uh, dyno tests and drag racing and cone racing and all that. So it really puts trucks through its paces. Yeah, and that is definitely for sure. <laughs> now, as far as voting, so our listeners are you know listening right now and they want to go vote for your truck. Where exactly do they go to vote for your video and subscribe? Yeah, so the Power Driven Diesel has a YouTube channel that all of the contestants' videos are on. And I'm contestant number seven. I am the only girl in this contest. But they just go to that YouTube channel, Power Driven Diesel, and they find my link, which would be contestant number seven, like I said. And then they click on the video, and they need to hit the subscribe video or subscribe button on that video. And then leave a comment down below. And doing each of those things helps me gain points to winning. And it's a pretty tough contest right now. There is a lot of good videos on there. I was watching some of them. They there were some very creative ones that uh, that were on there, and it's it's so cool because the VP forty tr- the VP forty four trucks they don't get much love, but they they can do so much, and there's so many options for them. It's almost like they kind of get sandwiched between the twelve valve and the common rail, but there's so much potential for them that. They're, they're really cool trucks. There's there's tons to do to them, and they're they're not done being modified. <laughs> no, there is so much that can be done to them, and I was really excited when I saw the that Power Driven Diesel was doing this contest because, you know, it's typically not about that year of truck. Like you said, they're just kind of bypassed, so it was pretty cool to see them want to build that truck and do this giveaway. Well, it's, uh, I think it's really cool. It, it's, a, it, it's, a, it's an awesome way to get you know, people involved and, and show what can be done with, with this year range truck because it is, it, it's still a Cummins and it still has potential and there's a lot that can be done with fuel system and air and tons of different things and they're, they're classic. You know, they're, 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 they're solid trucks and, and seeing your truck and the way it looks, the way that the stance that it has and how you plan to use it and tow a race truck and all those things. I think you're going to do very well in the, in the voting. And we, uh, we definitely want to chat with you as well. If you, if you get in get the truck done, or, you know, come back on, tell us how you like it, <laughs> you know, how the transmission is, the turbo setup that, that you guys decide on. That'll be awesome. Yeah. I'd love to talk to we talk with you guys again. We'll just have to wait and see on who wins the contest. When, is, when are the winners announced? Um, so all of the voting ends on July 8th, and then the next day on July 9th, the winner is announced. So you're going to know in a few days. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little nerve-wracking. Um, but then you have to be out to Cedar City, Utah by July 15th, and then they're going to build the truck from the 16th through the 18th. Oh, cool. It'll be, be- quite the event. It'll be, not, it'll be a nice road trip. Oh, yeah. Con- considering I'm 16 hours away, it'll be a little bit of a road trip. <laughs> well, we, we really appreciate you taking time out of your day to tell us about the truck and, and the giveaway and, and what your goals are for it and, and everything else. Like I said, we, we're sure that uh, you'll do well. It's a great platform to build. really like the truck as well, the color scheme and, and the stands and wheels and tires. Yeah, thank you. And thanks for having me on here with you guys. Don't forget, diesel fans, make sure and rate us on iTunes. Comment if you want to hear about a specific truck or a build or hear from a guest. We check them all the time, and we're using those to just feed you guys the content you want. So you guys have blown us up over the last six to eight weeks. We really appreciate it. Keep doing it. If you have show suggestions, you can message us on Instagram, which is the Diesel Podcast, or on Facebook, which is the Diesel Podcast as well. We check messages all the time. And we've got a ton of cool episodes that we're, we're uh, delivering to you guys. So we appreciate all the support. Till next time, keep the shiny side up.